Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Kevin Brookhauser, Google Apps Certified Trainer. One of the most important things we can do to help our students become effective lifelong learners is to guide them in how they react to feedback. Many students see feedback as a threat to their work, their intelligence, or worse, their identity. We want to create a classroom full of students who see feedback not as a judgment on themselves, but as a great tool to grow learning and constantly improve. One great way to create that climate is through modeling a culture of embracing feedback. As a teacher, when you solicit feedback from your students in a healthy and in constructive manner, you're demonstrating how they should respond to feedback from you, and everyone wins. Google Forms is an incredibly powerful tool for a wide range of data collection, including gathering student feedback. From your Drive page, click Create and then Form. If you're using an Apps for EDU account, you're given the option to restrict the form to individuals within your domain. You can also choose to collect respondents' usernames. It's often a good idea to keep these anonymous, so you'll want to keep that box unchecked. Whenever creating a new file in Drive, the first thing I do is give it a title. That way I avoid a docs list full of untitled documents. I'll title this October Student Feedback 2013. In the form, you can ask a wide variety of questions, including multiple choice and short answer questions. Here, I'm going to ask my students to rate how well they thought my discussion questions helped them grasp Shakespeare's Macbeth. Since I'm asking them to rank an answer, I'll use a scale question and let them choose a rating from 1 to 5. I'll label a 1 as most effective and a 5 as least effective. I'm going to require an answer for this question just so they don't forget to choose a number. Next, I'm going to provide a way for them to comment on the value of the discussion questions by including a paragraph text question. I'll make this one optional. I can create as many or as few questions as I want. Once I'm happy with the form, I can distribute the form by going to the View Live Form link. I can post this link on my classroom website, or I can shorten the link using goo.gl. I'll write the short link on the board, or I could print out a QR code for students to easily access the form with their smartphones. Once I'm satisfied that enough students have provided the feedback, I can analyze the results in this associated spreadsheet. I can also view a summary of responses from the form menu. With this valuable feedback, I can make any necessary changes to my resources to better serve my students' learning. And as an added bonus, I've just shown my students that feedback is an essential tool for increased mastery and lifelong learning.